Okay. Yesterday we talked about things to think about or ponder as we're reading for our book clubs, and we talked about talking about the characters, making predictions, having opinions or judgments about what you're reading, asking questions about the character and even to the author, and we talked a little bit about point of view. Did you find anything else yesterday in your book clubs you want to add to this list? Anything you talked about that you want to add that said, this was really great, we had a great talk about this? Megan, what do you think? My kids and I talked about, about Manny the fairy. Okay, so you talked about a character, right? And you had a little disagreement, didn't you? Yeah. So sometimes you... We disagree. Okay, think about you read. Maybe you Debate. had to... Um, did you think you had to prove your point? Yeah. yeah. Another thing I noticed was... Um, a group, the group that was reading the dog called Homeless, they were doing something else in their book clubs. What else did you guys do in your book club, Erin? We wrote a lot of notes and talked about the book after we read it. Mm -hmm. Didn't you write a response each day, like sort of write a little short response? They wrote some short responses, and then they talked about it. It was great. Connor, did you want to add something? Yeah. Um, like observation in our book, we have to use a lot because it's like a, a murder mystery. Oh, so yeah. like um, you have to observe clues because sometimes we find a fun to try to figure it out before the book tells you. Especially clues in your book, you have to really keep track of those. And that might be another way you might come up with a better way to think about tracking those clues as you read. So we have predictions. All right, so today I want to talk to you about something that sort of always happens. Every time I have a book club, any time, any year I've ever taught book clubs, things happen that are sort of problems. Have we already had some problems this week? Yeah. Little ones that we fixed. All right, so before we go on, I have a new chart right here that we're going to add some things that maybe you've experienced or things I can tell you might happen when you have a book club. So... I want to ask. Um, I want to ask you to think for a minute before you raise your hand. Think, what type of problems could you have in a book club? Because you're working with your friends to read a book. Okay, think. Okay, why? What do you think? Um, like if you're trying to figure out um, a number of pages to read, sometimes people don't. Um, agree on that because of their schedules or something. Okay, so you have to work on, a problem could be how much to read. Yeah. And then you said you have to agree upon it. Uh-huh. I'll say agreement. That's a problem that could happen. Megan, what do you think? Um, like, if you read, like, a page and stuff, mm -hmm. and other people don't agree about it, Sometimes there can be a little bit of argument because they think that's not true and stuff like that. Okay, that could happen. Sometimes you're not going to agree on something. So we could say you could disagree, even though disagreement, I'm not right, disagreement it is a good thing because it helps you sort of defend yourself with the text. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a problem. Easy, that's a little book. Ross, mm -hmm. what do you think? Uh, the, like, when to read. Like, pretty much any time much to be only like, because we want to read on the weekends. Okay, how much to read, or should we, can we also say when to read, too? Yeah. Okay, because we sort of talked about when we're going to be reading or we're not going to be reading our book club books. Jake? Uh, people can fall, uh, fall behind on the book. Mm. Like, they... Fall behind, that's, that is a problem. If you're meeting in a group and you don't have people that are keep, keeping up with the reading, can you all talk about the book? No. No, it's really hard. Okay, talk to? Um, well, sometimes I can argue with one person who read ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that always happens. So if you read ahead, you what kind of problems could happen if you read ahead? Because some people might think, oh, it's okay if you read ahead, you're just a real ambitious reader. What could be a problem, Edison? Uh, you did that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, well, 
like while you know, like while there might, if you read ahead there might be some facts and clues that other people in your group may not know. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say like to fix it, you can do this thing it up and okay. like right stop. That's what we're going to do next, real quick. If you're going to read ahead, one the probably the most practical solution to that is to put that. Stop a sticky note on the agreed upon page. Put that sticky note right there. How many people have done that and it's worked? I know, I've seen it. Yes. Okay, fall behind. If you're falling behind in reading, what's a helpful tip for those people who are not keeping up with the reading? What could be a tip? Anyone from the back? No? What do you think, Jake? Well, like if like if they fall behind reading like get up early and read and then maybe go back to sleep or like you can just and you can read in the classroom and drive going faster. Okay. You could read in the classroom. Could you use your free time? Yeah. Say you're done early with something and you used to have time to read. Use your free time to Maybe catch up. Astra, what do you think? You can use a stop sticky note to tell you when to stop. So, but if you're falling behind, you're not going to have the problem where to stop. You're just not reading. How about using your planner? Yeah. What about writing down the pages? Use your planner. Maybe you could ask a friend to help you remind you to read if you're really having a hard time reading. And then let's go up to this one. If you're disagreeing, what's the solution to that? If your group is having a disagreement on something, Ross. I was just going to say another problem. Um, if you forget to bring your book sometimes, okay, or so like lose your book. If you're not prepared. That's what it goes with falling behind, doesn't you it? Manage your time your materials. You need to have your materials. That's a hard time if you don't have your yeah. book and there's no extra book for you. You can't really turn to pages with your group. Okay, back to this one. Last thing we're going to talk about. Disagreement. What happens if you have a disagreement? How can you work it out? Claire. about something in the book and you could go back and find the an answer and mm -hmm. use the text. That kind of goes with pro prove your point. Prove your point. Use the text. And if you're really having a hard time, get a teacher to help you. That's all. Use your conversational prompts. Nice, polite conversation. I don't think this is going to be a big problem. We're not going to have a lot of disagreements. Or hopefully you might have strong opinions, but I don't think we'll have arguments too often. What about all